Today we're going to be doing another hand loading test with the SIG Cross in 308. So for YouTube's sake, uh, quick disclaimer, we're on a private range, private property, shooting a bolt action gun with a five round magazine, safe, there's no bystanders, just me. So that out of the way, today we're gonna be shooting Barnes, Hornady, and Burger bullets. We're loading all of these into Peterson Large Rifle Primer Brass with Federal Gold Metal Match Large Rifle Primers. It might actually be CCI 200s. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to write it down. Um, that part's on me. But the powders we're gonna be testing are not super extensive, but it's a majority of Vitivori powder. So it's gonna be Benchmark, Varget, N140 from Vitivori, and N540 from Vitivori. The rest are all um, gonna be this, those two powders. So anyway, we're starting on the lowest grain weight bullet and moving up to the heaviest grain weight bullet. The first three bullets that we're gonna be testing are all copper. We're gonna start with the 130 Barnes bullet. We're going to move to the 150 grain CX from Hornady, and then we're gonna be shooting 150 grain TTSX from uh, Barnes, which the TTSX is the 130 as well. And then we're gonna shoot 168 grain Burger bullet. Um, I'm gonna go through this stuff as we go through the video if I remember to do it, but the details on all the load information is gonna be in the description. Please refer to, this, to the disclaimer. He's published load data, not mine. This is just for informational purposes. But uh, the first group that we're gonna shoot, these are gonna be five round groups. I almost kinda wish I'd have done three round groups because this gun's gonna get so hot and I don't know if we're gonna have enough daylight to do this. But five round groups starting with the 130 grain Barnes TTSX 308 Winchester. Um, the information on the equipment and the rifle and the ammo and everything's gonna be in the description. But real quick, this is a SIG Cross. There's a Trijicon Credo scope on it. Worn rings, Mountain Tech rings, I think, and uh, a MDT Skypod with a protector bag. Uh, protector spelled a little funny, so if you get get it to pull up on Google, um, look in the description. I'll have a I'll have information for the bag too, <clears throat> if I can remember. But first group is going to be with the 130 grain Barnes TTSX and 42 grains of Benchmark by Hodgden. Got the chronograph running. Targets at about 85 yards. We're gonna try to put this on the center of the target. This might shoot absolutely horrible. Um, I just cleaned this gun and tried to foul it with like five shots of factory all copper ammo. So we're starting with a, a similar bullet here. I like the recoil impulse on that. Those 130s definitely don't push you around as much. That was 2702 on the velocity. 26-22. This might be, honestly, the, the barrel's still getting fouled in. That might be my fault. 26-85. Jump back up there to about 2700. 700 Got kind of a split group going on there. 26-79. Well, starting off strong with a crappy group. A velocity on that was 2666. Definitely not off to a good start. So the uh, minimum velocity, well, I'm sorry. The average velocity was 2671. Extreme spread of 80 and a standard deviation of 27. So really, really poor spread. Not a good group, just overall bad. We're going to be shooting that same bullet again on this next group. I'm gonna give the rifle time to cool off. And then we're gonna shoot 45 grains of Varget behind that Barnes TTSX in 130 grain. Okay, up next is the Barnes 130 grain TTSX again with 45 grains of Hodgden Varget. Twenty-six seventy-one. Twenty-six seventy-one. That's cool. Twenty-six eighty. Twenty six seventy one. I've got the same velocity three times. That's that don't happen very often. Twenty 
2674. Holy crap. That was consistent. And the what I can tell the group looks pretty darn good actually. I'm looking straight into the sun here, so it's kind of hard to it's just awkward, but looks like I got a really good group downrange and an extremely consistent velocity. Okay, so this just goes to show that uh, the same bullet may shoot very differently one time from another because with the last powder that we shot it looked really not promising uh, but with this powder obviously it um, did not disappoint so average velocity of 2674 extreme spread of 8.7 and a standard deviation of 3.4 so these things shot really really good and I like that 130 grain bolt in 308 because it doesn't kick as bad um, you can still get some pretty good speed out of it, which is really good for all copper bullets because you kind of need the speed for them to perform well at all. Um, you get these things going too slow and they just pencil through everything. So that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that actually. I'm hoping to get similar results from some of these other bullets, but if not, I'd be more than happy to just run with that load. Um, I don't actually really remember at where we're at. Or I don't remember where we're at as far as like max charge with Varget, but um, that, as far as where I'm hunting, that would be an excellent hunting load right there. So anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, next up we have the 150 grain Hornady CX with Vitivory N140, 41 grains of Vitivory N140. Oh man, that went way high. 25, 27. Well, these are grouping wonderful. 24, 92. Well, the last three shots, from what I can tell, were like really consistent as far as like group wise. 2489 was that last velocity. Okay, so the velocity spread was an average of 2497 and an extreme spread of 43 with a standard deviation of 15. So, not exactly good. Uh, the group was terrible, but the last. I think the last three were pretty consistent. I actually might have counted those wrong, but either way, it's shot really poor. So uh, we're gonna move on. Next group is going to be the 150 grain Hornady CX bullet with 42 grains of Vitivory N540. These things are going wild. 2535. 2527. 2526. 2531. So accuracy on this thing, on this particular bullet in this gun with the powders that we have tested, sucks. We are going to be moving on to the 150 grain Barnes TTSX. This bullet has done well for me in other rifles. Um, I think it's what my friend uses in his 30 out six most of the time, but uh, I like Barnes bullets. A lot of people um, love them or hate them, kind of like burgers. Some people love them, some people hate them, but overall, I think they're pretty good bullets. Most of the time. Everybody's making a lemon every once in a while. You're gonna get something that sucks. <clears throat> Average velocity on that was 25, 27. Extreme spread of 19 and a standard deviation of six. So the velocity spread wasn't outrageous. It was actually pretty good, but the group was horrible. Therefore, we shall move on. Next is the Barnes 150 grain TTSX, which stands for tipped triple shock, for those of you that don't know, with 41 grains of 
Vitivory N140. So the Barnes and the Hornady ammo that we just shot, the Barnes ammo we're about to shoot, are going to be the same powder charges, essentially. We're just using different bullets. Um, probably gonna have to start shooting on a warm barrel here. I've been letting it completely cool off between groups, but we are running out of daylight relatively quickly. And there's a good chance y'all aren't gonna be able to see the target much longer. So we're gonna have to shoot this gun a little bit hotter, but fortunately it's cooling off, so that'll work in our favor. But barrel's not totally cooled off, just so you guys are um, aware. I don't like to leave y'all in the dark on details. We're gonna be going for the left side of the center diamond here for this group. Twenty-four fifty-two. Twenty-four forty-five. Oh, got a feeding issue. Not really too sure what I did there, but we're gonna try that again. First feeding issue I've had out of this rifle. That was kind of odd. 2464 2436 2456 So that wasn't as good as that group with the uh, 130 grain Barnes bullet Like I said the barrel is hotter than when we had shot that cuz I completely let it cool off with the 130 but it's still a pretty good group, especially out of this rifle, because I haven't seen a whole lot of great groups out of this gun. But it's definitely showing promise. It just seems to be more picky than some of the other guns that I've shot. Uh, 308 caliber, or 30 caliber, we'll say, has not exactly been my friend. So I have a hard time getting 30 cal rifles to shoot. Don't ask me why. Don't know why they don't like me. Um, it's not that I don't like them. They're just apparently not a fan of me. So... Anyway, we uh, are done with the N140. Next, we are going to be moving on to the Vitivori N540. And with that, we're going to be shooting 42 grains. We are going to continue using the 150 grain TTSX from Barnes. We're going to shoot five more. And we are going to be putting those on the right side of the center diamond here in a moment i'm gonna try to let this cool off a little bit we just can't we can't give it too long i almost forgot to give you guys the velocities on that so the average velocity on that one was 2450 the extreme spread was 28 and the standard deviation was 9.5 i'm happy with that as far as the the group went it was pretty good and the velocities were pretty good so overall not a bad load okay we got 42 grains of N540 from Vitivori behind a 150 grain Barnes TTSX on the right side of the center diamond on the target. 2493. 2487. 2504 2485 so I'm having a hard time it's getting dark enough that I'm having a hard time seeing the impacts but it doesn't look like it was a great group it's all in the darker area of the target so it makes it really tough to see it with these lighting conditions but it doesn't look like it was anything to brag about so as far as velocity goes we got a average of 2492 an extreme spread of 19 and a standard deviation of 6.5. So still pretty consistent on the velocity side of things. The group just wasn't all that impressive from what I can tell. I am probably going to be shooting these last two groups on a hot barrel. Just full disclosure because it's, again, it's getting hard enough that I can see the target. So I know it's getting, um, I know it's getting uh, dark enough that you guys probably can't see the impacts all that well. But the last groups that we're going to be shooting, I'm going to give it a little bit of time to cool off, just not much. But the last two groups we're going to be shooting are going to be the Burger 168 grain Classic Hunter bullet. The first group's going to be with 41 grains of N540. Or I'm sorry, first group is going to be with 41 grains of N140. The second group is going to be with 
42 grains of N540. I'm gonna shut this off for just a second, give the gun a minute to cool off, and then we're gonna get right back into it. Okay, so I gave this guy a little time to cool off. Um, I'm hoping you guys can still see the target. I know it's getting pretty dark down there, but the GoPro seems to still be recording, so we ought to be in the, in the green as far as that goes, but, uh, oh, guys, I'm getting tired. Um, go to the gun. I may have loaded these slightly too long. Um, I'm guessing that's what the issue was there. First group, 41 grains of Vitivori N140 with 168 grain burger. I'm gonna go for the bottom left diamond on the target. 23.55. We are getting some really slow velocities here, so these uh, these would have to be sped up quite a bit for me to hunt with them. It's a little a little pokey. They're starting off grouping good. Oh, 2360. Still not too bad. Uh, 2364. 2351. I can't tell where that last shot went. The mirage is getting bad enough that actually can't see it at all. It doesn't look like a terrible group, but it doesn't look spectacular either. You guys can probably see it better than I can, I hope, but it looks to me like it was pretty similar to that 150 grain Barnes bullet that, or the uh, load that we shot just above it. Like not all in one hole, but you can see it. You can see the group, you, you know what it looks like. I need to shut up and move on. So last, group of the day is going to be that same bullet in the 168 grain burger with a charge of 42 grains of Vitivori in 540. Real quick, I'm going to go over the velocity of the last group, then we'll shoot this one, then we'll uh, be done. I think I should go get some Chinese food after this. That sounds like really, really good right now. Okay. Average velocity was 23.57, extreme spread was 13.8, or 14, and a standard deviation of five. So the velocity spread was very consistent. That is awesome. The group could have been a little bit better, but uh, as far as the velocity goes, really well. It was pretty slow load, but we're running a 16 inch barrel, and I don't think these are max charges. I usually don't do that, but here lately I've been kind of jumping to the higher end of the spectrum a little more quickly because seem to have less and less time lately. So last group, we're gonna go ahead and put the corner out here and we're gonna shoot this and we're gonna be done. Okay, the last group we're going to put right on the bottom of the center diamond. 24, 24. 24.13. 23.94. 2420, 2395. Okay, again, it's another one of those deals where it's dark enough that I'm actually having a really hard time seeing the impacts. It didn't look awful. It's just hard to tell exactly. I can't see all the shots. I just kind of see like a rough cluster from here. Either way, uh, that was not our best shooting bullet slash load. However, the velocity didn't seem terrible but we had a couple low ones so the final velocity stats on that last group there was a average velocity of 2409 with an extreme spread of 30 and a standard deviation of 12 so again it was okay but it wasn't really good um could have been better but you know what i actually if anything was kind of hoping that that barnes 130 grain bullet would do really good i was really hoping that that 168 burger would do well too but I don't know how fast I can get that bullet going out of this gun, and again, I don't need it to be screaming hot. Probably not going to be making any really long range shots on deer around here, but as far as a hunting load goes, you don't want it going like super slow. I mean, a 2350 for a hunting load is like pretty, that, that ain't very fast. But uh, anyway, that 130 grain bullet shot really well with one of those loads. We'll probably revisit that. That may end up becoming our ultimate uh, ultimate hunting load for this little guy because I'm also hoping to shoot some really heavy bullets through it, subsonic, and I was kind of thinking Lehigh's. So if you guys want to see some 
load data with, uh, or if you want to see some testing done with some subsonic 308, please leave a comment below because I would like to see your all suggestions slash opinions. That is going to conclude today's video, but before y'all leave, I'm going to try to show you this sunset because it's pretty. Y'all stay risen, take care, be safe, we'll see you in the next video.